How y'all, how y'all doing? This is D. <laughs> if you didn't know, I just want to get back into the discussion about symbolism and the power that it has over us that something can be right in front of our face and we can't see it, right? So it's like taking something at face value. I don't know if y'all remember back in the day, I think in the early 90s, they had these pictures where you can look inside the picture and see another picture. Oh, that's symbolism. It's layered. So you'll look at it at the first glance and that'll be it. And you'll just take it as that's sorry that fans on it might be too loud for y'all to hear me but uh, I'm too lazy to get up <laughs> I've been working I've been working out I've been doing a lot lately so but you're gonna take that first layer and that's all you'll see same thing with the movie same thing with the news same thing with any story we're not realizing there's other layers that you can go to in that story, in that movie, in that cartoon, whatever it may be, even sports. So there's multiple layers that we're missing <laughs> because we're not symbol literate. Symbol, symbols are a, a, a whole language by themselves. <laughs> Once you learn like the symbols that are being used then you can start knowing what's being said what are the other things being shown that are going just to our subconscious while the creators and the ones who put the whole show together they are using those same symbols to communicate something to one another and to us subconsciously so we don't recognize it readily because it's not being told to us well this is what I want to get into with this video is because you know I want to help in the situation I want to be a difference maker I want to be someone who teach these kids better than we taught ourselves like what we were taught because a lot of us we had to teach ourselves a lot of us our dads weren't in our lives after certain points like or never in our lives for some of y'all out there I had my dad raise us until we were like 12 and then we went with our mom you know it's just how things went and we were boys raising ourselves a lot of my friends are like that where we raised ourselves we were in the streets and we were each other's family and so I just want to get into this for my people first of all and then for the kids we got to teach them better than what we've been taught and so the creator gave me and Preem, my, my queen who passed, Preem was, <laughs> I, I call her Preem because it's Queen Supreme, the woman of my dreams. That's who she was. So I call her Preem for short. <laughs> and then I even had an uh, anthem called Sweet Preem of Mine <laughs> from Neil Diamond. I changed the whole joint up. And so the creator Bless me and Preem once we got on Stellarium, which is this app, this star app, to where you can start to see and learn the symbols that they're using. And so I'm going to talk to y'all about Pisces. Pisces is the main symbol for our calendar. So our calendar is the Gregorian calendar. So why did we switch from the Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar? I'll tell you why, because the Julian calendar was the lunar calendar, which was the moon calendar, right? And now we're on the solar calendar, so we switched from the moon to the sun. Why is that? The reason why is because there's an 11 day difference between the moon and the sun calendars. And so in that 11 days, it was certain things that weren't accounted for in the lunar calendar that are now accounted for in the Gregorian calendar which is the solar or the sun calendar that calendar that we now all Monday through Friday Monday through Sunday I should say follow and so <laughs> with that is an 11 day difference so this is why the moon is so huge even in the solar calendar 
still to this day. We'll get into that later. But so we switched from the lunar calendar, the moon calendar, to the solar calendar. And this is what we've been on for 2013 years. Okay, I mean 2023 years. And so what they're doing is using symbols from that from the timeline we're on. And what timeline are we on? Can anybody tell me? I'll tell you. The timeline we're on is the year of our, the year of our Lord, right? So that is the Jesus calendar, the Jesus fish calendar. If you ever notice, Jesus is always associated with fish. Why is that? <laughs> you know, why is Jesus associated with fish? Some will tell you because he was the fisher of men and he taught, you know, people how to fish or he <laughs> fed people with manna and fish or whatever. Somebody will come up with stories or they'll read it in the gospel and tell you this. But I'm going to tell you the real, real reason why is because of the constellation Pisces in the sky. And so that is what is happening in a lot of sto all stories is they're taking things from the sky, tying it to stories and movies. That's the template. So all the characters in your movie, all the script, everything they wear, it's all symbolism. Everything we wear <laughs> because we're tied to the Jesus fish calendar. And so I just want to get into this because I'm going to show you guys how to start seeing beyond face value what you first look at to what you can see beyond. So I'm going to show you the Arby's logo, right? And it'll be hopefully a pic two pictures or a few pictures that I'm going to share in this video. And... You can guys can just listen to the video and look at the pictures and just see like the symbolism and how they use the symbolism. And this is a logo. So we're going to go with the Arby's logo. I talked about that recently on a video because I'm going to start teaching about the star. So this is like one of those videos. But this is just for, you know, me to do for y'all just to enlighten you. But in that logo it looks like a hat it looks like a bonanza hat or like a top hat or whatever you want to call it cowboy hat but really if you look deeper into the logo it's two fish one is really easy to tell the top part of the hat is a fish with his mouth open the bottom of the hat which is the rim is also a fish now, it might not look readily like a fish, but if you look at the symbolism of Pisces, what it is in the actual sky, Pisces is a constellation in the sky. And so if you look at that constellation, you'll see <laughs> two fish in the Arby's logo. And so that is being related back to <laughs> the Gregorian calendar timeline which is what we're all on so we're living in a fictional like a fictional world so we live and die in fiction we never come out of that we never grow up to see beyond what they're saying and what they're communicating we're going to live and die in fiction unless we can start understanding symbols symbology you know this sort of thing and so now that I can see it so clearly, so easily, I'm going to share it with y'all because I've been seeing this, I've been knowing this for years now, over three to four years. And, you know, it's amazing. It's just powerful. So I'm going to start putting the pictures up. I'll put the pictures with this video. They'll be on the side. And I just want you to see, you'll see, see this in Pisces. They're used all the time in every story, every movie, every book, every cartoon. So it's Taurus and all the Zodiac constellations, especially Orion. He's not a Zodiac constellation, but he is really the year of our Lord. When they are saying the year of our Lord, you think they're talking about Jesus? No, they're not. They're talking about Orion. And I'll prove it to you. Like he's in everything, <laughs> everything. 
even back to the old school myths with Zeus and all these people, even Orion's myth, they tell you he walked on water. Did any of you know that? Did any of you know that Orion, the constellation, walked on water in his myth? I bet you you didn't. <laughs> I ain't never heard nobody tell me that before, but we did the research, and this is why I'm sharing it with you. So I thought Jesus was the only one who walked on water. Au contraire, mon frère, no. <laughs> Orion walked on water way before Jesus did. And so all these miracles and stuff, we got to understand what they're communicating. So in the sky, it's called the celestial sea, where all the stars are. There's also a river with, you can call it, Uridanus is the name of it. And that river, or it could be a chain, or it could be a rope, depends on the story of the book. It's tied from Orion to Cetus and Pisces. It's, it's a tie, it's like a chain from Orion, and it's called Uridanus, and it's called the river. Well, that's how Orion is walking on water. He is tied to the river, so <laughs> that's the symbolism of what they're telling you. So in this video, I'm just making this simple for y'all, like right off the cuff. It's not hard to understand once you can see how they're doing what they're doing. And so Arby's is two fish. You see my hands, the peace sign, that's the same thing, <laughs> Pisces. So when I show the pictures on the side, you'll see this is Pisces. The P sign is Pisces. Nobody's ever going to tell you that. Nobody's ever going to tell you that because we're not privy to symbology or the language of symbology is used against us or is used subconsciously to us while they're communicating to one another, you know, in their brotherhood or their liar, liar, pants on fire, secret drama society ways which is what Prem call them. <laughs> she made that name up. And it's perfect because they're all in the same club. And we're not privy to that club. We think these people love us. No, they don't. And so I'm just going to show you, look at this video, and then keep flipping back to <laughs> the pictures because I'm showing you Cetus and Pisces, mainly Pisces in this video. And then look at the Arby's logo those are two fish so all they're communicating is Pisces <laughs> in that logo and so we can go around at all McDonald's Burger King we can do it all and we're gonna find the same symbolism it might not be Pisces it could be the Sun it could be the moon it could be 